All right, so Gene and I are gonna do a, a double measure here. So when I pull it out, it's pulling out and I happen to be too close. I really don't wanna pull it out here because I gotta worry about that early phase grab. Ideally, if I'm gonna do a cross grab, I pull it out way out here so I don't have a chance of him grabbing my stick or my hand. If I'm too close, he grabs my wrist, boom, like that. If I'm a little bit closer, which is this scenario, he grabs kind of the tip right here. So that's this scenario. Okay, so go ahead and let go. If, if he waited too long and I'm too far back, the stick would probably be attacking him too quickly for him to really get a good grip in that motion. So on his end, he would have to grab it fairly early to be able to grab that stick. If we're in closer range, he'd probably grab my uh, hand. So we're doing kind of mirrors. So if the hands are up here, it's gonna be the mirror image side. So it's my right hand, his left hand. So if my stick is in my right hand, it's gonna be his left hand that grabs in this case. So I go here and I bring it up and he grabs it. So there's gonna be a struggle here and it's gonna be kind of that even Steven for a little bit until the stronger person or the person who can manipulate the wrist better is gonna win. So I'm not gonna waste time trying to get this hand out. I'm just gonna take the pommel. I'm gonna drive it up straight and get the head, the nose, whatever. And then I'm gonna come in closer because I've gotta worry about this punch and I'm gonna kind of hug him like this. But while I hug it, my right hand, all it's gonna do is just gonna slam down like I'm hammering down at 100 miles an hour. That's gonna uh, release it here. Now, I'll always watch out for head butts, but I'm gonna take this stick and I'm gonna drop down to the edge here and I'm gonna lift up and rake it while I pull him down. He's gonna fall. And I gotta remember to pull the stick out quickly. And I'm gonna do my next progression, force necessary, whatever it's gonna apply. Then I do the left hand. So again, put your hands up for mirror. So it's gonna be this hand here on this side that's gonna do the grab. I unsheath it from a cross grab or I might kinda of come up here, but either way as it comes up, he has a chance to grab it. The pommel's gonna strike in and it's gonna circle around and I gotta circle this hand or else he's gonna punch me, right? So I don't wanna grab it here because he's just gonna keep punching me here or clinching. I need to make sure I'm blocking that punch and then I'm kinda of wrapping the body here. The left hand's gonna hammer straight down for the release it's gonna grab into the legs, and I'm gonna pull him, he's gonna fall, and I do my sequence from there, my follow-up. Okay, Gene's gonna grab his stick, it's gonna be the same scenario. So again, we bring our hands up, right, and mirror, so the hand that touches is the hand that's gonna grab the stick, if you forget. So he comes in, I grab it, he's just gonna go to my face, he's gonna wrap both hands, because he's worried about this hand. He's gonna hammer down, now he's gonna grab the legs from the backside, push into me, I fall. He's gotta to remember to release that stick, and we go from there. Then the opposite side, we put our hands up, right? The mirror is gonna be this hand here that's gonna grab. I grab it as it goes up. He pummels the face. He watches and wraps the body. Hammer straight down, grabs the leg, bumps me. I fall, and it goes from there. Remember, nothing works exactly as planned. That's why you have to do many puzzles. Nothing works all the time, but everything works some of the times. And then typically it's gonna be like a piece of puzzle where multiple pieces are gonna fit into the scenario. So you might have another insert of an eye gouge or a bite or you know, a less than lethal area that we're doing or a greater than lethal area that we show. So you can modify all of these. These are just basic frameworks.